Jokadu and the GDC, uh, um, you know, um, elections at Nyamino West. And uh, I, um, I hope this is going to be interactive. Um, uh, let me see whether it's coming up. Okay, it's, it's great. I think it's coming up. Okay, so um, we want to hear your, your, your views and what you have to say about uh, the whole issue. And I hope you guys can clear, uh, hear me loud and clear. Uh, this one is a test, so I'm not sure whether it's going to work out as planned. But um, yeah, okay. So what happened in 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 Jokadu? Um, I think it's a, it's a minor election. It's a it's a council election. Although no no election is small, um, but uh, we have to we have to take it in in the context that it happened. It is a very small um, election, you know, councillorship elections. That many people, it's just a ward councillor, you know, few, 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 um, few villages, one or two villages that are concerned about it. Yet uh, people want to make so much out of it, you know. And the, even the local election, I mean, the, the national assembly election in Yamina West, um, you know, we all know that there was no, there was no. Um, um, let me see if I can see. Okay, great. I can see the charts from here, so I don't need this one, really. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And I hope um, we are trying to stream this on, on Facebook as well as on, on YouTube. So that is going to be there for prosperity. And probably we'll try and, uh, and show. Okay, my co-host is trying to join. Um, he's asking for the password. I sent it to you last night, mate. Let me send it back to him again. Um, there you go. Okay, just click on that and then you should be able to join me. This one is a new, new, totally new um, setup. Uh, we're not using Zoom, so um, probably have to go and see if I can cancel my Zoom connection. Okay, thanks, LMS, LMS Mane. Welcome back, brother. Thank you very much. Um, I've got my national flag right in front of me here. Alulara, uh, Mbaring, Alulara, Ulara, that's chat. I hope you guys, you are one of you are not one of the people who is discouraged about the performance of, of GDC in Yamino West. I've seen people, you know, really angry about it, and they are threatening to throw away the baby and the bath. You know, figuratively speaking, speaking, they are saying that. Um, they're going to leave the chat room that we set up because they are disappointed in Yaminankas. Some have started calling us um, uh, uh, names that we are after the Calero, we are, <laughs> we are after the cooking pot, uh, which is which is not really, really true. Uh, let me see if, if my, uh, my co-host can join me. Um, I've sent him the link and uh, then we can start the show. But... Um, Fatu Jamme, we all know there was foul play. Okay, we want to hear about the foul play, Fatu. Um, you know, we want to be credible as much as possible. So if you are alleging foul play, you know, can you tell us why, what the foul play there was? Um, as far as I can see, the only foul play that I can probably think about is the fact that they went down there with a lot of money and they were using state resources. It was really open and then they were using uh, governors uh, who are supposed to be neutral uh, to do their campaign for them, government officials like governors. I hear some people saying ministers. I think ministers are, are political appointments. 
so they can use those people but there's 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 no way they should be using um, um, governors and, uh, and, uh, and, and and chiefs you know those people are supposed to be neutral they are civil servants um, chiefs can can be political but they are not political in our legal setup um, you know unless if you are going to vote for them every five years it doesn't happen at all so um you know let me see how uh, joy is, is doing i think he is fine he should be able to join us i'll send him the link if he has any problems he should be able to tell us what's happening you know but um what uh, what i'm trying to say here is that uh, uh udp didn't contest in yamina west and then but 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 some people are saying even if we contest we might not even go really far you know we might even take some people from from uh, from um, from GDC, which I doubt. You know, I thought we we're going to be the neutral person. You know, when GDC and 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 and, 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 and NPP share their votes, then we can come up and and and, and take the remaining uh, votes that are left. That's that. That was my understanding, and, and and I don't understand why we should give up for for um, for GDC they, when they didn't give it up for for us at at the ward level. So, um, you know, I want to hear comments about that. Uh, and I hope we have learned our lessons. And one of the lessons is that, you know, GDC man ke samuta nyoti. You know, and, and I even hear some people are blaming us that uh, we shouldn't even have supported them. And because we supported them, we spoiled it for them. You know, so you know, how, 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 how ungrateful can people be? You know, I, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Um, I mean, we went down there and, and, and we gave some, 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 nobody went down there as, as, as UDP apart from the local people. But then we gave them moral support and that was supposed to be enough, you know. Um, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, let me see. Are you struggling, my mind? Are you struggling? If you're not struggling, let me know. So um yeah, so I'm coming for roll on call. Yamin Joe can I for manding a mandika can do manding to must jay. Okay, I think I did so I did so joy a little bit uh, maybe not. Um you know, but uh, what we are saying is that uh, it, it is unfortunate that uh, uh Joy is typing something. Anyway, so so you know what we are saying is that uh, it was it was it was it was, we, it was a lesson and and it was a good lesson. It was not the twenty twenty one. So we have to set, set up. Um, he says, let me send the link to his email. Okay, so it looks like his phone is a little bit uh, different from this email. Um. Let me see how I can do that. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, so I want to hear about what people are want us to say about that because I think it's a it's a good opportunity for us to put our act together. I have had our people Naminankas talking about before the the thing came. They were talking about being overconfident. You know, we cannot be complacent. I've been saying that all the time. You know, we cannot rest on our laurels. We have to push. You have to have shows like this, diversity shows. You know, people are saying, uh, you know, uh, because because those those settlements are, are mainly um, they are mainly uh, fuller settlements and 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 and, and wall of settlements in in Jokado, uh, and you know because of that we we, we this is not our stronghold. Um, you know, I I think I think we have shows like this that will that will invite uh, our people uh, who are who are not mandinkas. And, and, and the fact that we're not speaking Mandinka in, 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 in our show means that we can invite those people in and they can share how diverse our party is so that other people who use um, excuses. Um, sorry, guys, let me just try and send this to my good friend, uh, Mr. Joey. You know, so people who can who use excuses to, um, to, 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 to say that uh, UDP is a Mandinka party will have nothing to say. You know, I think we need things like this, you know, things, shows like this. And next week, we're supposed to have um, um, this uh, Oli, Oli Wada, Oli Diba Wada here, and then we'll send out uh, flyers for that. Uh, but next, by next week, uh, next Sunday, 
and and from then we will have more people you know our, 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 our more, more people who are diverse who um you know who will show how diverse we are we will even even have uh, we even invited our party leader mr davo to come on board and he's ready to come so we'll find time and and, and schedule that with him uh, hopefully the following weekend because we gave the word to Oliwada first so you know we are go we are supposed to we, we are supposed to honor that um you know uh, we are supposed to have her today and she was ready but then uh, we thought because he had the the, the, the interview last week with um, coach and then we had this election you know it was good was going to be good to discuss you know these elections uh these two elections that happened and uh, okay, let's see. Small, I think. Uh, I hope you're not checking out today <laughs> on me. Um, yeah, so, so those are concerns that uh, we need to let me. Let's see. Let me just try and place this to my second screen. Then this here. So as I said, we try, we're trying to post this on, on, on YouTube and we will have it on, on, our, on our website that is coming very soon. Uh, we're working hard to put it there and, 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 you know, we are sending it to as many places as possible as well. Um, okay, let's see. I think it has been sent, Mr. Joey. I don't know, maybe he still wants it on his phone. Sent. So, so it's really important that we put this in, in context, that we use this as, as, as learning lessons and, and, and make sure that um, when 2021 comes, we put our efforts there. Um, I understand Mr. Uncle Luciano Dabo is saying that um, we're going to put more effort in, in Jokado, uh, and, and, and that's, a good, that's a good outcome from, from, because we have to look at things in a positive manner always, you know, you have to learn from, from, from things that are happening. And, and and the learning thing I have I understand from this is we have to we have to show diversity in our party. We have to invite because as a majority, if you are a majority, Mandinkas are a majority in the country, you have to open our doors more often. You know, uh, some people will come and, and, and still want to discriminate you because you are a majority. But you have to make sure that you keep opening that door. You know, and, and making sure that you know you keep inviting people in. Uh, you know, especially. Um, into 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 more into into our political party if if you if you like you know or 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 or, or, to, or to just to show diversity in everything that we do um you know when we have when we have um uh, our government comes in 2021 uh you know we will try and and and, and make sure that we we put a lot more effort into um into getting into getting uh, uh, our minorities our other our, our people in so that they can see themselves that um, that um, that 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 uh, you know UDP is going to be even much more diverse than PPP. And I heard Mama Kande talk about um, uh, Jawara's government in the PPP. How many ministers uh, um, you know who are fullest uh, compared to even yeah Jammer's government? I think you know only a handful were fullest. You know even two or three. You know um, you know compared to um, the, to to Jawara's government. Jawara's government had a lot more even the vice president was a fuller. You know, and UDP also had um, had uh, what's his name again, um, uh, Mr. Jallo as, as 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 the vice president for years from inception. You know, and now we have uh, we have a wall off. So we're trying to be as diverse as possible, and we are we are going to make sure that you know we encourage this diversity and and and, and, add, and ask our people to come in droves to come and join our party. You know, um, I've seen people talking about uh, yeah, GDC testing water, I mean, the, the NPP testing water, and they're happy that they can succeed. So um, that's why um, Baro is saying that, uh, he, you know, he doesn't even want to support the constitution because he thinks he can win the first round. Well, if he's confident about that, as Sisla Jarama said, <laughs> let him go and, uh, and, 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 and allow um, uh, the, the, the commissioner of, of the, the governor at Prikama to come and contest. Uh, the seat in, in, in there. I mean, if, if he tries that, uh, okay. So um, if he tries that, then then he will know how popular he is. You know, I think IEC also is not doing the. Uh, I think they were giving Baro time to settle down. You know, to to prepare his party, uh, organize. You know, we have had uh, news about them in in, in in my town in Kudang, where many many of them were based because there's a hotel there, 
and you know and, and i understand that some people some of them were even struggling to pay their their, their hotel fees you know <laughs> so you know um okay let's see what our people are saying Fatu Jame says, it's really a pity that our people choose money first than the, the betterment and the development of our country. Um, I don't think there is evidence that we took money. I understand people are talking about people's votes being bought. The only evidence I can see is that, um, you know, we had less than, less than uh, 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 how do you call it again? It was about um, uh, less than 50% turnout, which was really, really poor. And some people are suspecting that the low turnout was because of uh, of people's votes being bought, you know, um, that could be, and 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 then the, what they what they what they did was to just to let people they know who are really supporting them to to vote. You know, they could buy those votes, um, but um, I haven't seen any evidence, you know, such evidence yet, you know, apart from the low turnout, which could be which could be related to some other things, which could be because GDC with uh, UDP withdraw. You know, uh, you know. I think I think that's the that's that's the only explanation I have uh, that 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 I can say about the, the the money and the development of our country. I've seen people make uh, uh, really really serious allegations, and and even before then, Pandarimbai and the others were saying that um, uh, so much money is coming into this elections, five million dollars uh, from 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 Baro supporters, um, the guy who has been sponsoring Baro from day one. Uh, you know, he's, he's pumping so much money for this tiny, tiny bit of elections. Uh, this is just one consequence. And, and I understand it's going to be a test for Barrow because if he had lost this, you know, he would have he would have known that the Gambians are gone. But if you know, if this is the test that this that, that that he is banking on, then he then he doesn't know what a test is because you know I think this is this this place is 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 is, is an easy win for him. You know, we understand the demography of this place. Um, you know, um, these people have been voting for for um, GDC for for years. You know, uh, for NRP, and then afterwards, when GDC came, they turned to GDC, and now Barrow came. They're going to go to Barrow. You know, we understand that. You know, it's not going to be our stronghold. Um, you know, so you can take it, but if you want to take that as the litmus test to see how popular you are, then 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 call for elections now. If you dare, call for elections now see what's going to happen or even go for Brikama one elections you know the, the chairmanship of Brikama you know call that in and see what's going to happen you know Mavokar Job is saying Kenya your people in Yemen has exchanged their votes with bags of rice and some chicken changes I doubt that I doubt that I think those are allegations that we cannot substantiate we understand that Nyamina is is really very diverse people you know you have some places uh, where you everybody speaks every language you know almost it's, it's more diverse than anywhere in, in the Gambia. You have different kind of people in Yamina and, and, and there's no single uh, uh, party which can say I am going to control all of Nyamina. You know, that is that is true. Um, and another fact is that uh, okay he said he hasn't received this. Hey Mr. Joey <laughs> Uh, go, Mr. Joey. I don't know why uh, this is so difficult for you. Let me see. Um, you know, when you are not technical, you cannot blame people. <laughs> when you are an engineer, you cannot blame people who are not technical. And players are not technical at all. You know? Um, you know, I think this one is easier than Zoom because Zoom, you have to send these things, and then um, you know, this one you just have to click on it. Let's see. Where is Mr. Joey? Um, okay. Okay. So, so uh, Babukan Job, I think uh, you know our people haven't sold anything. They haven't. They have. We have. We can't encode. We cannot. We cannot uh, accuse our people. You know, we are the bread basket. Nyamina is the bread basket of the Gambia. You know, so don't forget that. Um, I mean, uh, you know, we understand that um, it's, 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 it's before the rains. Um, the, the, for the harvest and, and it's really really hard now so um you know um, but then that's not an excuse at all um as long as i haven't seen any excuse any evidence that they have sold their their votes apart from the low turnout um you know i'm going to believe that um you know this is bound to happen um and uh, you cannot blame them for for this at all um I think the only evidence I have seen is that uh, 
you know, uh, it, is, it was a GDC stronghold and they've lost and they have lost ground almost the whole country where their traditional strongholds are. Okay, Joey is here. Okay, great, good. <laughs> Finally, I knew I saw you there and then you went back again. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Goswell, welcome, welcome. You're looking smart today. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, you're a little, little bit late, um, but I uh, understand we have changed our platform today, and it's a little bit more interesting now. Uh, but um, let me let me let you say hello to our, our guest, and, and, and then uh, we can crack on. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, yeah. Um, good evening, listeners. Um, we're back again on the Diversity Show. Um, we are grateful for people that are following us and today we will be discussing some pertinent issues concerning the political landscape. So um, yeah, I, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you. I'm finished. Yeah, so we had a we had a, we had a we had a not so good news about the Nyamina West election uh, when it came to, um, to 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 GDC as well as the Joker do, um, and I've I've put my my points across, which include the fact that um, you know uh, UDP UDP were in contesting in Nyamina, and and Nyamina West was is not really a stronghold of of GDC, um, but um, uh, and Joker do also is not also a stronghold of GDC. And and, and, and and you know I'm encouraged by what uh, Uncle uh, Usenu said that we're going to put more effort in Jokadu and I hope they're going to put more effort in Nyamina West as well. Um, personally, we are going to put more effort. Uh, people from Nyamina, we're going to focus on Nyamina West more, and then make sure that we engage them door to door as much as possible. So, what what is your personal take on that? What is your take on uh, on Nyamina West, and how do you think we can we can move forward? Um, you know, and as well as Jokadu. Um, if you want me to make my views clear, I will tell you what I feel about it. Um, the United Democratic Party has been in existence for almost 24 years. Thank you. And uh, we should not be confined to strongholds at a time when we want to win elections. I am saying this because in 2008, or 2007 or 2008, we had a councillor's election. We had only three seats, three wards. Yeah. One in Bakau, secured by Rambo. The other one secured in Kiang, and the last one secured in Sami. We built up from there, and we contested in 2018 or 2017 and had 63 seats. So places that were perceived as no-go areas ended up becoming strongholds. Now, if people tell me that Jokadu is not a stronghold, I beg to defer. It's a, it's, a, it's a place that we've never won. It's a place that we've been having sick, a, a decent share of the vote. Yeah. Because you've got to understand that the first candidate that contested for UDP in that seat in Jokadu was the son of Abu Kuntaya. Mm -hmm. He's now in America, he's called Baba Khan. He contested there for UDP and lost by a slim of votes. So you can't tell me, that's my own view. If Senator Dawa may have his own view, but my own view is that we've lost, we've lost, mm -hmm. and there should be a post mortem on why we lost. Yeah. I mean, I do not feel comfortable to say we've never won there, it's a small word. Yes, it's a small word. But we went to Banjul and we've never won in Banjul and captured five. Yes. We've changed things because of the organization. And that's what should have happened in Kirjarga. Immediately this guy defected and they knew that there's a likelihood for us to have a by-election. We should have prepared ourselves. We shouldn't have waited for GDC. And I don't want to come here and start blaming GDC. I commiserate with GDC because whether we like it or not, Mama Kande 
has really shaken the political landscape. When he came in, he did do a lot, and that made him a formidable force. So, uh, this is a learning curve? Yes, it is. Should we be complacent? No. Should we be proactive? Yes. Where are we complacent, though? Do you think it's complacent? Well, I, well, I, I, you see, let us be fair ourselves. If we want to do well, we need, we should have prepared ourselves. You cannot tell me that the Kuntai Award, not one person voted for us there. The Kuntai polling station, we didn't get any vote there. What were the reasons? That's that's an invest that, that's something that they have to investigate. Why? Now, it may be that Joe Kadu has about three constituents, three wards, and Kiljaga may be one of the weakest wards, the weak where our support base is not solid. So as a result, we cannot say that can, um, that all is lost at Joker because it's only one word mm -hmm. and the other words. Yeah. Now, if I give you a scenario of this, when 1991, there was a election in Bakau. I hope Musa Jame is here. He's a he's a Bakau boy. He will tell you that story. Yeah. Sam Silla did put candidates for PPP and they won all those seats, all those votes. But when it came to the president M um, the parliamentary election, NCP won won the seat. Yeah. So we need to look at the dy dynamics because when it's a word, yeah. it's not the whole people of Jokhan that will vote there. It's only people that live or reside within that world. Absolutely. And that's the problem. People have to look at it from that angle that it was a word. So that word there, we may not be solid, but we will be solid in other words. And that's something that should cheer us up. What we need to yeah. do now is to work, start the work from scratch, look at how we were second at the councillor's election at Kiljarga, and we end up being, sorry to say, last or fourth. Well, we were second last year. Yes, we were second last year, and we had 500 votes. Yeah. The, 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 the guy who won had 1,228 votes. So now we need to ask ourselves, why did we lose 259 votes? Where did they go? Is it either they've defected to G um, NPP, or is it because of low turnout, or is it because they would cars were bought? Yeah, I think those we are all things. We have those are things very low turnout at. in both elections, though. Very low turnout, and that's why people. It was ask very low about. turnout, but the problem is, you see, the problem is, I've been saying this for a long time. People are not ready to listen. Is that what this MP parliamentarian should have done at their earliest opportunity is to review the electoral laws, have election electoral register been looked at because at the moment we are relying on inaccurate, unreliable figures. I do not believe that we have eight hundred and eighty thousand voters on that on that register. Yeah. I do not believe that it's fair because when you look at UDP today, young, vibrant people are joining UDP. Some of them in 2016 never had voters card. Yeah. And these are the people that are following us, going on tours and everywhere, and they don't have voters card. Mm -hmm. And then we have this erosion that we are we are strong, we are brave, we are the, 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 the largest political party, but we don't have the voters card. Maybe we, maybe the, this, the, the, the video tapes that we're showing Jarga, maybe some of those people don't have voters card because by last year 2016 they were 15 years old now it's coming towards 19 they still haven't got a voters card so think about the amount of people that we may have denied the right to vote you understand yeah and i think people are following really UDP every day any yeah. rally we have they're behind us yeah, but and registration is coming. It's, it's coming. Yes, next that's the problem. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That say now that that 
that result has something that we need to be look, looked at, you understand? The problem is we have a very young youth base growing up. And most of them in their teens. This would be the first time they have a right to vote. Yeah, they will, they will. And these those people are being denied. So some people in Jokado would have you have people that have not 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 able to vote. Yeah. And they were they, they may have been at the rally and we got this impression, oh, we're gonna win the seat, not realizing that these people don't have a vote. Yeah. You see? So we need to look at it from that angle. Now they talk about inducements. Mm -hmm. Now I have to uh, I have to blame myself because I, during the Jamaican era I did put up the whole law about inducement. They call it trade treating, which makes it an illegal makes it a criminal offense to take bribes or to give bribes, and that should have been something which once they knew that this was something happening. They should have brought it up or synthesized the people. I know they were saying Yamina is not for sale. But was that enough? Because we need to enforce this. Because what we see now is this new trend which used to happen during the PP era, where people are selling selling their voters' card in exchange for money, in exchange for for other issues and other things in kind. Yeah. We we saw the cooking pot, the cooking utensils that were given to them, and all that stuff. These are things that were shown, and according to electoral laws, you cannot do that. That's inducements. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that um, lawyer Usino, that will be in my landed senior, and blah blah will agree with me that this is not right. How are we going to stop it? We're going to stop it if the NCCE, the National Council for Civic Education start educating people about the use of your voters card and what you should not do with your voters card because the voters card is not your personal property it's a property of the of the iec you cannot go out selling it in exchange for money yeah. now we can, go to the extreme. <laughs> we can go to the extreme and after the elections and they keep it back <laughs> yes you see that's because i i I, I did say this one time on this program that what they what they normally do yeah. is that they know how to put on the on the electoral register. They collect, they say now we, we know how to put on the register, we want one thousand votes and let them carry on do what they want. So once they have one thousand votes, that's it, secured. They know that they've got the people that's going to vote for them. You will be campaigning doing everything. Not realizing that your votes, voters' cards have already been sold. Yeah, but they cannot do this. Um, they cannot do that countrywide in 2021. I mean, they cannot afford to do that. So they can afford to do this in these small, small um, elections. You know, and that's what I'm saying. They can pump in a lot of money in small elections like this. You may mind you, people are saying five million dollars just this small um, uh, GDC, uh, Yamina West constituency of of, well, of, of, of less than two thousand two thousand uh, votes. So, so what's going to happen when they want to replicate that across the country? They cannot afford it. Anyway, let me listen to, let's see what our, our viewers are saying. Uh, Fatu Jamme is saying, um, no, brother, these people have been going out during the night distributing blau, brown envelopes with money to different households. But that's my point. They cannot keep doing that every time. Uh, Brahma Jamme is saying, hey, Kejo, thanks for the great job you guys are doing. Um, you are doing with Encyclopedia, <laughs> Encyclopedia. It is very. You can read it, can't you? Yeah. I it can't see it. Sad. I can't see. I'm seeing. Yeah, it's very sad no, that, that most Gambians are, are, politi are politically ignorant. Anything promised to them is their right to have without any conditions. Obviously, but they cannot. They can. It's, it's rainy season. It's, it's really hard in Gambia right now because rainy season have just finished. If you are from Yamina, we feed the Gambia, but we are farmers, you know. And and right now it's really really hard getting food on your table um, i think that's the narrative we have to change um okay abraham Amane is saying poor gambians are always the disenfranchised of their rights and only faced with if their votes are needed um please kejo let me realistic you and i know both the truth what more proof do you need no we don't need i i, I was saying that i need proof that people sold their like these things apart from the fact that um you know um uh you know the support turnout that's the only truth they are saying 
you cannot prove that people really really sold their 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 voters because nobody is you can't have that kind of proof to to prosecute anybody um okay Pergo, you are on point joey uh per gomez <laughs> like that our opposition but it's good to have you here yeah brother <laughs> They may even do that next uh, to 2021 election, Sambu Baro. I don't know Sambu, because the point is they cannot, they cannot um, never estimate your opponents. Gambian must, must, must wake up. Okay, so you think, you think I, I don't think they can afford to do that in, 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 in a real real countrywide election. Because, you well, know, look at, look at it. You know, they, they put so many people down there on the ground uh, during this time. You know, but they will not be able to afford that um, when, when it comes to in the whole country. And and you know and they have ministers they are going down there promising them that we're going to build stadiums for for you guys, well, you know. I mean, and, and... You see, I mean, I, I can't. I don't don't underestimate these people. I think what we what we've been doing for far too long, we've been taking it for granted, thinking that yes, all is well. Let's look at it from that perspective. That all is not well. We are contesting elections against somebody who's desperate to win, and he will do anything. Now I don't want to tell. I don't want to say anything that he will do. What he can do, I know some of the tricks that they've done during the PP era, where they, where, where they assign a certain group of businessmen, say, this area you are responsible. They can do that. They did that in the 87 elections, where certain, what we call mafia groups, were responsible for certain areas in order to, to, in order to neutralize the opposition votes. And it worked. It only failed at Serakuna West, because we, the Serakuna West, we, the Lantakuna and Kanifin boys, are conscious. And when they came with their money, we ate them, we, we took their money and voted against them. You understand? Yes. So what happened was, they will they will assign a group that say, this area, you are responsible. And the fact that we are made to believe that um, Adam Abaro is in, 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 in co in courts with the business industry or the business entrepreneurship anything can happen yeah. because that's what he will say okay this area you are responsible that area we are responsible now how do we fight this we need to educate our people to tell them that look they give you five thousand dollars it means one thousand means that your your this government only giving you one thousand dollars a year because they want you to vote for them for five years they give you ten thousand dollars each. It means that every two thousand dollars every year. Is that what you want? Is that what you want when you have to pay for school fees? You got. To, you need to educate the people. Yeah. And when you educate the people, now look at the situation in Wooly. I mean, see there for long. It was. It was. It was difficult, but they educated the people. I mean, look at the situation in Tumana. Yeah. I can give you instance when Tumana was PPP and Tumana ended up being GPP. I mean, it was. A, Difficult one, but remember Tambu who won it against all odds because of the people said enough is enough. And if you, if Baro, you think if Baro is confident, why don't you call the elections in Brikama then? Because well, I mean, he well it's not about Baro calling elections. That's what it was about. Baro has nothing to do with the elections. The problem is, is the IEC that should call elections. That seat was vacant. Was yeah, but instead of, instead of them instead of them wanting to go for elections, what they did was they tried to 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 change the law. You know, that's yeah, but the problem is, yeah, but the law doesn't that law doesn't apply. It doesn't apply to it doesn't apply to uh, my call and Bill Kama. Yeah, yeah, and secondly, it doesn't even apply to the situation now because he hasn't unless they tell me that he's given the assent to that legislation. The commencement date hasn't started yet. Yeah, yeah. So unless they tell me that they've already amended the constitution, they've already amended that legislation, they voted for to, for it to be amended. But when when will it commence? Has it been gazetted? Yeah. You see, these are things that we have to look at. So, as far as I understand, unless people tell me that they've done the changes secretly and quietly, the old law still applies. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And it cannot it cannot be used. It cannot. No, be, it, cannot uh, it cannot. It cannot. It cannot be used. Yes. yes. So you think they are going to go and call the elections and go and buy the vote from from? I think what we have to do is we have to put up a, a, you know a, a very good strategy here. Apart from the journalists doing their jobs, because I think the journalists need to do their jobs and try to investigate these kind of things and talk to people. You know, we can educate people, but if somebody doesn't have rice 
on the table and you come and give them a thousand dollars and tell them can i have your vote i mean it's really really hard i think, well, I think you know you see we should we should do away from this situation of we need to be growing our candidates and not yeah. imposing our candidates and why by that i mean we got one area we know somebody is very promising we start encouraging him then that will what do you think of standing here for elections in the next three years and all that stuff and then you start giving him the the encouragement the training the info the so he gets used to the constituency the world or whatever you call it so by the time elections we go into the election that person would have been well seasoned and well prepared no disrespect to momo Silla because he was our candidate in in 2018 what i do not know is what did he do after that did he just stay quiet or did he or was he was it somebody that was involved but not active as he should be these are situations that we have to look at yeah, yeah. something must have happened you have a candidate he lost the election and you know that he's he's a promising candidate that's not the end of story now what udp should do and what they should have done is immediately after the elections, all the candidates have lost. They should have put them together, see that, right, but you lost the election. Why did you lose the election? How can, best can we help you that the next four years you will, you will win the seat if you haven't got... Or oh, oh, give the chance to others who have not lost um, the um, what the problem is, we should have programs of leadership in the party, yeah. Yeah. representation. These are programs that we should have in the party. Where youth might come up and they've been trained on these things so that they get ready. So, you want to be a candidate? Well, we're having this course that we're organizing, and this is part of you to familiarize yourself how to do the politicking. And then you get used to it, you take it serious. Now, if you say you want to be a politician, it has to be in you. You want to be an MP, it has to be in you. you. don't have to wait until the opportunity comes up by, by accident. Say, oh, yes, I want to stand for this place. Well, are you prepared? Now, we tend to have this problem where people normally put their names on the list and they're not prepared. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that anybody we are putting up, he's prepared, he's well-trained, he's well-nurtured, he knows what he's going to do. Now, um, as I say again, Mumuru Sila, no, nothing to say about him because he stood before. Disappointing that he did not increase his votes. But yeah, they say low turnout and, you know, it was what we call midterm blues as they, as they were saying in in the, in american um, terms it's a bit time blues we needed a reality check we got it let's live with it and learn from it yeah. but we yeah. cannot go on the airwaves and start saying oh this is what happened this will happen no let's let's look at the reality all is not well if we continue with this. Things will get well if we change our certain things. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I think it's unfortunate, and, and we have learned, we have to learn our lessons. Um. Okay. Okay. There may even be next twenty two. Never underestimate your opponents. Yeah. I think we are complacent too. Uh, thank you very much for that, Mr. Fadjamme. You know, I think we are complacent because in Yemen, I've had, I've, I've, I've joined groups there and then I see people are talking, saying, that, no, we're going to win this election. No, no, don't doubt about that. You know, GDC is going to win this election. You know, don't worry about that. You know, um, you know, I think what I can see and, you know, I've even had um, the, the, the UDP campaign manager, I think, Suku Singate, saying that, you know, we they are certain that we're going to win. And, and the first thing I said was that, listen, first of all, you know, we have to be careful. We cannot, we cannot. We cannot reinforce. Um, we cannot. Um, we cannot give support to GDC so that by next year election we ourselves cannot cannot come and, and win these things. I think we had to be careful about that because we were giving them too much support. And I've even seen the Yamina East um, MP who is who, who, who happens to be a GDC supporter. He has never given even a single credit to to to. to well, to I mean, GDC. I think I, I think I think Kaya at this time and moment we will look yeah. at it. The loss is something that we have to share together. And we should not even no, but, start but they are, going... are saying that we, we shouldn't have supported them no they but are saying no, that they are blaming I... us for supporting them well i mean i don't Some of think them that... are saying that if we hadn't supported them if we had not supported them 
they probably would have they probably would have gone further than than, than we supported them. Than well, we well, I, well, the well, I beg to differ. I think we went there in good faith, and uh, yeah. and uh, we went there in good faith because we thought that this was their seat, and we felt that it was wrong for us to put a candidate there, and we said we'll give them a support. They haven't won. I think only every sensible person should just have to take it as as it is because it was a big fight. UDP is not a rich party. Any NPP is perceived as a rich party because it has what we call the legitimate um, advantage. They have the state apparatus. They have the state vehicles. They have the they have the money, as people are saying. Some people say they're going to trek. When they're not going to trek, they're going to campaign. You know, and these are all of the opportunities that they have that we do not have at our disposal. If we want to go to Nyamena, we'll have to fork out maybe hundred thousand dollars or or more. Watch them. It's just a matter of saying you're going on track, and that's it. Who's who yeah. doing the auditing? No one knows. So, they were desperate to win the seat. Fair play, they won it. Fair play with a small F. I mean, that's it. We learn from it. I only hope that when we have a proper election, the parliamentary or presidential, we'll see a different picture. But that different picture will only uh, on, on, only become a reality if we get our act together. Yeah, so what about diversity? I Before you came, I was talking about the diversity in the UDP and how people perceive it. You know, I think this is why the shows like this are really, really important. Because if you look at the these... Um, this, 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 um, these places, uh, Nyamina West, for instance, is, is prominently a fuller settlement, you know, and that's why NRP could win there, you know, comfortably before. And now um, GDC came and they took it over from the NRP. And and, and now uh, NPP came and Baro is saying he's a fuller man. And we had um, Ahmad Bat talking about, um, you know, the, the telling the fuller people not to vote for, for these rats. You know, so do, do you think we should we, we should how do you think we can increase our diversity in, in well how, well how are we going to penetrate these places and Jokadu is also the same thing that uh, is quite well, prominent in one of let me let me give it in three segments. UDP is not a tribal party. Of course UDP is not affiliated to any ethnicity ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Two UDP is open to every Gambian, irrespective of whether you are a Creole, Manjago, Tilibonka, Mankind. Tola, Fula, all whatever you could, um, Karoninka, whatever. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Four, people have to say, look, I'm joining this party because I think I bring in something into this party. Yeah. Now, when, we, when UDP was founded in the executive, the first executive, we had Fulas, we had a Jola, we had a Sarahule, we had a Mandinka, and we had a wall of Anacreo. What is more diverse than that? Now, I challenge the APRC at the time whether they had something similar like that. The executive that we had for almost 10 years, 10 to 15 years, was as diverse as ever. Yeah. And it's diverse because we never close our doors. Now, people are not ready to join the party because of one man came up and said, this is a tribal party. You understand? Which man was that? Was it Yaya Jame? Uh, well, I don't like to give him credit, but since you've asked, you call his name, yes. <laughs> okay. And and for because you had single Nyasi, single Nyasi was tortured mercilessly because they wanted they said, How could you support UDP? And they failed to realize. Now UDP again, Adam Abaro, when he was contesting against for the for the for the um, um flag bearer, his opponent was a Jola. So for people to come and tell us that, yes, we are not tolerant or we are not, it is them that have used it against us. We have yeah. used it against them. Mm -hmm. Now the yeah, party... But, but it's our duty as, as the party to make sure that... No, the we, party, it is the party that should be vigilant. We have, look, we have the fourth female mayor. Yeah. yeah. You know, Rohi Malik Lu. You know, we have the youngest male. Mm -hmm. It's not a it's not it's not a full you know full born mandinka. Mm -hmm. I mean, what else can we ask for? Mm -hmm. Why should we allow people to dictate to us as to what our diversity is? 
the mere fact that people speak the language doesn't mean that it, 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 all of the most of them speak the language doesn't mean the Spanish tribal. Yeah. And this is the whole thing that we, we as a party should demystify because people are using it for their yeah. own benefit. Absolutely. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trump card that they've used which is distasteful. Yeah. Nobody is telling, look, <laughs> when they see me, oh, I could be a record book at UDP. And I say to them, I'm not going to be a record book. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, I say I'm not going to be a record book. I'm not going to be a record book. Yes. And you see, this is the problem that we're having. People are not ready to sell the party. Mm -hmm. If we want to win elections, we have to be ready to, to have our trump card that we are a diverse party. Yeah, yeah. We open it for you. You come and join and play your, and play your game. Don't sit there and start expecting you for us to spoon feed you and all that stuff. No. We are people that have joined lately. When Rohilo was going to be mayor, everybody said, oh, Rohilo, Rohilo. But look at the success story she's done so far in Banjul. Yeah. Look what she's done. I mean, I can take any previous mayor, any previous mayor, I can take them on. I said, look, this is what this lady did. <laughs> and this, this lady is still working. Despite all the the limitations which central government are giving us, yeah, yeah. Because, because even now, that. even now we have some part, some 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 part of the the, the mainly mainly pandering by. For instance, last time was well. I don't want to, you see the problem is it, um, we don't want to get involved in that. Let's concentrate on our issue. Critics yeah. can say what they like. You understand? Yeah. We have to get our house in order. Yeah, and we should not. This complacency, this this talk about we're the largest political party. Yes, we won elections and we were the largest. That's history now. But the issue is we've got 13 months to go. Yeah, absolutely. That 13 months should be towards ensuring that we win the elections. Yeah. So, do you think our 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 our, our media houses too, the UDP media houses, all of them from this one to everywhere, do you think they should be more they should be more uh, uh, diverse in what languages they speak? Because well, I mean, that's an issue. But the other thing is about content. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when we we if we have an editorial policy or what we're going to talk about, then that helps. Yeah. Um. People want to hear issues. People will only be convinced if they talk about issues. People will not vote for you if you start relying on sentiments. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we should stop doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, going on having radios and start talking about things that you cannot substantiate. I think it should be a thing of the past. Yeah, well, that's sensation, and that's what attracts uh, crowds. That's what. No, but but but, but, but yeah. it doesn't help. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. No, no, doesn't the people out there on decided majority that are just looking, say, look, I'm thinking which party should I vote for? Yeah. On the plate, I've got UDP. Am I convinced? Well, what I hear on the social media doesn't feel appealing to me, and I don't think I will. And now you're using something. You're speaking the same. You're using a particular language and all that stuff. People hear it already. Other people want to hear another language. Yeah. Just to encourage them to say that we are all open. Absolutely. But you're using one special language, you have a big program. That person doesn't hear it. How can that person be convinced? Exactly, exactly. I and this is what we've been saying this for a long time. And that's why when Usain Odabo goes on rallies, he always has an interpreter. Yeah. He has an interpreter because he needs to eat in the interpreter has to uh, translate what 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 he was saying or what he is saying. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's the same thing that should happen with these programs. If you say today you're having this program in this language, tomorrow you're having that program in this language, yeah. then it becomes more exciting. People get in, in, I've known people that say they can't come on our radios because of they can't speak the, a particular yeah, language. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and they only come to, 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 to read, to read because they can read what people are talking yeah, about. But people put, you're putting people off. Yeah, yeah. And you, what you're doing is you're talking to the converted. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. What, what what else do you have to tell the converted? Yeah, yeah. You've got to talk to those who are in doubt. Mm -hmm. Those that need to be convinced. Those that need to be given that hope yeah. that this is the party that can save us. These are issues that we should look at. You Absolutely. See?
Absolutely. Let's see what our people are saying. Um, Sambu Dabo is saying, clueless president, he will do anything to stay in power. <laughs> uh, he's also, he want to win, we need to, if we want to win, we need to work really, really hard. I, 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 I concur with that. I don't believe that, you know, we should, uh, the, um, Brahma Mane is saying the thousand dollars is, uh, any family received from NPP today to ease their problem today will solely land them in something worse tomorrow. Of course, you know, I mean, the, um, the, but the bag of rice will not go down, uh, tomorrow. Okay, so Fatu Jame, our, our able sister, is saying we the UDP and should have to stop being overconfident. Let's wake up, let's fight for what is actually the progress of our country. You know, um, so it's true. Uh, Pierre Gomez is saying, Joe is, is you are on point. I think I think if we can convert this guy to come and, and join us, that's going to be great. <laughs> I know last time he was APRC, supporting APRC and... Uh, you know, he managed to push so, so, so many of his people to, to go and, and support uh, Yaya Jami. And then afterwards, he didn't see any progress. So he's trying to go back to Doi. You know, so I'm trying to convince him, Per, to come and Keja, wake up and think. Dim. <laughs> wake up, my friend. I think we have to try and convince you to come and join um, UDP. And, and, you know, uh, and then bring the, all your word, you know, the Joswang word, the new Joswang word to, to, to come and, 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 and join us. Um, you know, so so yeah. I think these are important points that we need to talk about, and um, and how we can move our party uh, forward. Um, you know, um, but how do we tell these people to our? How do we tell this to our our our, our radio our, our presenters? I mean, I think um, you know, are we going to write a, a petition to them? Write a newspaper? Well, I mean, that's something that we will decide um, in closed doors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I think yes, it's have to whatever it takes. We have to take do whatever it takes to make sure that these people understand you know even if it means writing articles you know to try and talk to them you know because you know they probably will not listen to this program but if we can write uh, newspaper articles and and try and you know I'm, I'm trying to start a newspaper i think udp we have to do everything it takes now you know to make sure that we win we cannot be complacent i've seen so much complacency everywhere you know um, i mean we are so overconfident as my sister said too overconfident we think that you know gambians will just vote for us and as you said you know we keep saying we are the largest party we were the largest party but we are never the, like, the largest party will, will have to come when after the elections you know so i think we are too complacent and we have to you know to you know too overconfident we, we think that people will just vote for us without as you said you know we can talk to the choir we can talk to the converted every day we don't mind bringing all the people in you know i know very few people are making that effort to come and bring all the people and if you come and ask them come come to our show they will tell you we don't understand your language you know we cannot we cannot come to a show that we are we are we are we are we are clueless about and most of the mandinkas can speak what of so i don't think i don't understand why we should i think we have to be really, really no but it, it, um, it, it, um the, the the i am not going to start here and start the preferential language all i'm saying is the message that we are saying even if, it come, comes from, be, even if it comes from Sarahule, yeah it has to be translated that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm, I'm saying, saying that's, that's what i'm saying, saying and it has to be translated and the reason why one of the arguments given which is helpful is that most of the people that listen to us are not proficient in English. Yeah, so yeah exactly. that's why they they've decided to use that that medium of communication. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is this: well, I, whilst you you enter, you you're ready to tolerate or give way for that type of language, you should also be ready to look at the implications of what you're trying to win. Yeah. Because as I said, you're just winning. You're trying to convert. The convert you, you're trying to convert the undecided. Yeah. yeah. Now the undecided don't speak a lingo that you're proficient with. How are you going to win that vote? People keep telling me, oh, they they would they don't like us. How do you they don't like us? Yeah, exactly. If you if you come up and make your points clear and you Stay away, stay from the sense say, start talking about issues which are factual and issues which are relevant mm. to the nation building, people will start taking us on serious. Absolutely. But if you start talking things which are unsubstantiated and are really a mere gossip, 
yeah. people will not take us serious. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to nail round people's head that this is what this is where we will lose out because we have more radios than any political party on social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have more, more, more media outlets than any, but the problem is how many of them is ready to look down and look at the policies, the manifesto, and say, let me explain to the people about what UDP will do. All people are talking about is Adam Abaro did this, Adam Abaro did that, Adam Abaro did this. Yeah. Well, about time that we say, you know what, Adam Abaro did this, but we, when we have a UDP government, we will do this. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem that I've been saying to people for far too long. It's a rich party with knowledge, resources, and information. Yeah. Sell the stuff out to the people. People yeah. are hungry. They yeah. want to know about our party. Sell it out. Stop Absolutely. telling me about Adam Abaro has built a house at Mankamankuda, or there's a new, he's got a new house at Bakau. Those things <laughs> are, they're necessary, yeah. but they're not top top of the agenda. No, no, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be. Yes, and but this like is what we were doing all the time. 35 yeah. million Kodole, yes, we've been saying that for <laughs> almost, almost, almost three years now. Every day, yeah. Kodole, Kodole, Kodole. And then, and, we, and then, now, and then I say, okay, what about the jobs for the youths? What about the, the, the investment for the, for the women? These are things that we should focus on. Yeah. <coughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And, and another point you raised was that, uh, you know, and, and I've been saying this here all the time that, uh, you know, our, our candidates, you know, they are, they need, we need to encourage to, to our people to stay where they are going to represent the people, you know, and this is, has been a concern. Um, I'm sure Mr. Silla doesn't live in Jokadu, you know, he probably lives Well, I mean, Jokadu. yes, but you see, the problem is, this is where I'm saying that you have to plant. Yeah. You have to plant it. You don't go and just impose. You plant them, and you plant them by saying, "Right, you know, this seat, this could, this could be your seat next five years. You need to work on it. Yeah. Any training you need, any assistance you need, we can en encourage you. We can do everything because I've seen that. Choose from people or choose from people who are really living in the area. You see, yeah, I've I mean, seen. You know, you you would believe this. James Cummins did not become mayor overnight. James Cummins was okay. was groomed. He was groomed. He was a businessman. Yeah, yeah. He was a businessman at an area called Dingare, which is it. And then they groomed him. Mm -hmm. He became a councillor for Dingare, yeah. what Dingare was. And then he, from there, he rose until becoming the mayor of Banjul. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I've seen a lot of people that have grown from being, they've been planted with the small pea, and they nurture them. Give them all the assistance. Oje Jalo, the same thing. Oje Jalo, when he stood in 72, according to history, he lost. Yeah. But he was groomed. Yeah. Became very dynamic. Ended up becoming MP of Serekuna East. And then had the strongest, the only stronghold for PP in Greater Banjul. Yeah. Because any other seat could go either way, but PPP and Serekuna West always went, always yeah. still PPP. So that's how you groom your candidates up, and that's what we should be doing. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Nobody should take it for a ride thinking that, oh yes, I'm going to stand for UDP. Yes, you're going to stand for UDP. What is you? What have you got for UDP? What do you bring into UDP? Yeah, and where do you live? Well, that's <laughs> that's it, yeah. important. Yeah, you know, and what have you done for that people? For those people yeah. down there, you know. But um, yeah, we have a lot to, to we have a long, lot of long, long way to go, and and it, it, I think this is a blessing in disguise because you know we have we have so many lessons to learn from this, and 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 I was telling our people before you came that um, next next week we will we are hoping to get um, uh, Oli Oli Dibawada on 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 on, on air and on on, on on TV here, but um, you know and and we need to talk about these issues that what they are they going to do about. Um, about the, uh, the 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 Bismal, uh, um, you know, um, um, uh, efforts that we had from from Jokadu. You know, I understand um, the party leader is saying that is they are going to put so much effort down there. 
you know, and, and you know, and, and they should stop being complacent on the ground um, and, 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 and really, really, really put, 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 you know, put, um, put some effort into, 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 into getting, getting right, the right candidates in and, and making sure that, as you said, you know, groom those candidates so that they can, they can, they can, and I, I think they should be from that area. They should even live with the people down there so that if every day people will come and knock your door, you know, if, if anybody comes and we have to put aggressive, um, we have to try to talk to our people so that if anybody comes and wants to buy their votes, they can report them to the police. I think we have to try and put these things into place. Well, you know? I mean, the problem is everybody took things for granted and never made a uh, point to address uh, elections. Yeah, I think people thought it was all done and dusted and did little to address it. Mm -hmm. What should have happened is basically just raise the alarm bell saying, yes, we are going today, it's closing day, watch out, they'll come to your house to collect money. Just make the noise, make them look so silly, you know? Yeah. And then once you do that, then you will see that the um, it it could help. It. I remember when nineteen when um, Dembo by force was contesting against Farmer Boja, and I remember the rally. I was very young then. I know if Musa Jame is here, will he will remember? But he's also young as well. And uh, at the rally, somebody said, "Oh." Tonight, make sure you keep your voters card because these people will come in and start telling you that you have to, you have, they, you, they're, they're going to give you money in exchange for your votes. Mm -hmm. So these are things that have been happening in the PP era, mm -hmm. happened in the Jame yeah. era, and yeah. it's going to happen under, under, under the Barrow era. Yeah, and but it looks the like the scale that is happening on the Barrow well, era. The, the whole problem is, is, you know, we've been enjoying this transition until Barrow from his political party. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we used to have free and fair elections. There was no, there was no talk about buying of votes. But now, mm. now that Barrow is in in the game as well, he's going to do the same thing as others were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think it's very, very, it's very unfortunate, and uh, it's going to be really, really, really hard. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> um yeah i mean i think it's, it's really really unfortunate and it's going to be really 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 hard to um to take but we have to take action you know we have to make sure that we encourage our people to report them when they do this we have to find evidence of these things you know and and, and and report it you know put it on video you know that's the only way that we can we can we can we can remove these things because if if and, and i don't think Baro, as i said Baro would not be able to buy the whole of of, of the country you know um, you know, he cannot buy 200, 300, 400,000 voters. You know, it, even even if even if he's going to pay thousand, two thousand dollars for each, you know, that's 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 that's. I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe, but um, you know, we have to put a, a, a stop to this. And and the only way we can do this is by sensitizing, as you said, and and being vigilant. And and you know, and and, and, and apart from that, we have to empower our people because there are ways that we can empower our people. You know, apart from just just talking about, um, okay, let's see what our people are saying. Um, okay, all right, okay, yeah, that's Mister was was the last person. Okay, all right, so um, yeah, okay, let's move on to um to other points because I think we have exhausted this point now, and uh, and 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 you know we will we will try and make sure that um you know we we put our our people on 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 the spot. And tell them to to be more diverse in what they are they are, they are saying. And and I want to tell our people that um, you know uh, you as well that we have we have secured um, Mr. The Mr. Um, Uncle Uncle Luciano uh, Uncle himself is, is prepared to come on our show and share his story about diversity in UDP with us. You know, so we have to prepare that ground as well. And 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 next um, next week we have. Um, we have Olidiba uh, on 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 the show. Um, you know, so um, you know, so many things are, are going to happen here, and we want to encourage our people to um, to to come, and we will we will we will invite our, our deputy party leader as well to come on board and 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 speak to us about diversity in in UDP because I think diversity is the key here, Mr. Goswell. We cannot we cannot beat that dead that that the horse dead. You know, because um, when when this thing happened, some people are saying, okay, if you told uh, was uh, if you told this uh, Mandinka area, and, and, and they, they they won, 
what will what people will people will say you know it's, it's tribal is now they in the area and then they're lost so we have to put we have to put uh, we cannot we cannot relent on this one we have to it's, and it's a very important opportunity to unite the whole country up and, uh, and um you know i think we cannot we there's there's not much um you know we can do apart, apart from uh encouraging diversity um okay let's see what uh what our leaders are saying so um yeah what about our health facilities what about our security system what about promoting the health state for women at large yeah of course yeah i mean you know for yeah we are that's why we are supposed to focus on 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 on, 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 on the security um, last week I had to come and start, uh, you know, early for the show, and uh, you know I was talking about the security and how you know um, the, the government has has uh, has, um, has has bungled it up. You understand the case of this guy who was um, the security officer who was um, named by the the government official as as being um, you know a non Gambian, and and the fact that uh, you know. Um, you know uh, he also came up to say that listen i am being witch hunted and even he went ahead and named really i think that is pandering actually you don't want us to mention him but, <laughs> you know he mentioned him but, but the fact that the government is trying to uh you know is being clueless about about our security is a real concern and when 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 it plays into the hands of tribalists like the Ayame, it is going to fight us back, you know, in the whole thing. And also, our time to is we are going to try and make sure, as a party, UDP party, to make sure we, we put um, security reform on the agenda. The way we are going to do that is by making sure that, you know, we train our, our military personnel. And, but do you think, Mr. Goswell, do you think that uh, the government was right in naming that person? That, that that guy. I mean, I think that is that is so unethical. You cannot you cannot name people on on, on certain certain things. People are well, asking you about security reforms, and the first thing you the only thing you kept you saying was, okay, we had one this guy who was a sajo, you know, kept sajo, and then we sacked him. Well, you know. Well, I mean, I I think that was the law of the law. You can do because security is something sensitive, and uh, there are certain things that you call national security, and uh, you don't just divulge such information in the public so um it was relatively a sad situation considering that this could have had adverse um uh, could have serious implication for our security structure now the security sector reform in as much that i'm not a security trained person or an armed forces person there should be some ground rules about what we communicate and what the public should know what the public should not know yeah. You could go ahead and do the reforms, but there's certain information that you do not, you should not disclose. And uh, this was one case where somebody was being name was disclosed, yeah. and uh, it has caused a huge problem now because they're using his ethnicity, yeah. saying that he, maybe because he's a jeweler, and uh, this is things that you should have said we're not going to disclose names. We've come across this. Exactly. It's not necessary because it's yeah, an they, 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 really, they really mentioned that he was a jola. The government, the government. Well, no, when I mentioned his name, and then when they mentioned his name, people, you know, it was able. Somebody was able to deduce that he's from an ethnic group, which yeah. is not Mandinka. Now, yeah. and then this is where, this is where other people will start saying that they, he was persecuted. Mm -hmm. Now we did not play it properly. How that's like, by like when you are in England here, you remember when that guy got killed at the police station they did not call the identity of the guy they did not even say what his nationality is or his ethnicity is so these are things that we have to bear in mind that our country is getting a bit toxic now with the ethnicity issue and we'll have to be very careful how we disclose if um, somebody's identity it wasn't relevant you're doing security reform yes we're doing security reform we've noticed that certain individuals were in the army and they were not of Gambian origin. Full stop. Yeah. People yeah. ask you, I do not want to comment on individual cases. That's Excuse the line. Don't do that. Yeah. Yes. That's the they line. That's the line that about. In England, we do not comment on individual cases. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's not something for the public to know about. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, what's 
Oh, he said this man was he was in the army. And then what well, well, if he has a mob justice? Yeah. I mean, these are things that you have to bear in mind that the implications. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then and then the um the guy came up to say that um, okay they were they were you know they are discriminating me because of my my because of my my family's origin you know the family came from Casamas and and then the armed forces also joined in to say that no this guy is in fact you know was was found um, uh, you know uh, uh, of of impropriety that he was he falsifies his papers do you think the army should have gone that far well i mean you see the problem is that um the line should have been we cannot comment on individual cases exactly yeah. yeah yeah and in yeah. the interest of national security we will not dive further on it absolutely, absolutely. The whole line you take. yeah yeah, yes. yeah. yeah you the don't army, have to the the yes yeah, yeah, they should have. They should have come, as you said. They should have come and said, you know, we have some people who are doing this, but we cannot in the comment on the individual case. I think it's very unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, um, Kanye Drama is saying hi, Kenya and Goswell, uh, Joey. <laughs> Thanks for your wonderful program. You both looking good. Thank you very much, Mr. Drama. And and his question is, if NPP is more confident, why can't City Force Sonko quit, go for elections? Uh, UDP will be the winning party 2021. That's well, I mean, at the moment. Um, um, city for ja, city for Sonko doesn't want to leave UDP. You know that. Yeah, but his, his question is why can't he quit from his seat and, and be confident that he's going well, to? Well, I mean, that's a choice. Know. That's an interesting question. He, that's something that you can ask city for Sonko. I cannot answer for city for Sonko. Or, or NPP. I, if NPP is confident, because I've seen some people are saying that maybe after this they will be confident. You know, why can't they tell him, listen, quit and then come on, come on and, 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 and fight this? elections we are going to support you well i mean the problem is that's that's a big risk they can do it if they want yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah 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 but but if if they do i think udp should start you know should the udp should not wait until they do you know from now we should start our campaign and, and you know try and do a door to door because you know, look at this. Look at this Nyamina issue. You know, this NPP. Well, the Nyamina NPP issue now. was the Nyamina issue. We took. The, let me put it the way, the way I understood it. Nyamina issue was not our concern. No, what I'm talking about is what the how the GDC handled it. GDC no, waited on the last minute. The GDC, GDC have been talking for far too long that they wanted elections on this issue. Yeah, yeah, but then, and, but then they didn't do any preparation. But the problem it. is, the see, Nyamina people problem. didn't see them until the last days. No, but I will not. As I said to you before, KJ, I will be very, very um, lenient with GDC because I think yeah. what's, what's happened is very sad. They lost an MP, he died. They wanted an election. And what, and what actually happened was in the end, they lost a colleague, they had an election, or the election took them, it should have occurred within 90 days. Yeah. I think it went over over six months. Yeah, absolutely. Under the absolutely. disguise of, on under the disguise COVID. of what we call, uh, what you call COVID. COVID. Yeah. Yes, but you were still going around, opening stalls and all that stuff. This one, this two weeks election. Absolutely. And if they looked at it medically, they could have said, "Oh, in Yamina, it's not an infected area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the, the infection is not high. We can still have the elections and get away with it because we're denying." Yeah people uh, uh a representative but yeah. no they said covid and they, and it meant covid mm -hmm. so in other words that being the case npp had to had time to uh, to organize themselves yeah yeah and then when the election timetable was 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 announced yeah they were ready for the kill absolutely absolutely that's it yeah and, and my concern is that uh, we shouldn't let um, them do the same for for um for well i mean well i mean i expect i mean um udp are very much strong in western division yeah so i expect the udp should be ahead of schedule uh -huh. making sure they have somebody in mind who yeah. will be their flag bearer or their candidate yeah, yeah. And be ready for in the event of an election. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's an issue we have to look into because if they wait till the 11th hour and start looking for someone, 
Yeah. And this is where we have the problems. Absolutely, absolutely. And and it looks like that's what we are. Maybe I'm not sure, but um, maybe maybe we need to talk about this. I think we have to we have to um, uh, get our our party leaders. Um, and this is a question we need to, we need to talk to um, and only about when she comes, my sister. Well, it's not only only only. Um, um, point of correction. There are many other people in the party that we can. Yeah, but, but the people we have an opportunity to talk to here. You know, so we're going to start yeah, with yes, her. But, but, and then, but, and then but, Uncle Usain, when Uncle Usain comes the following the following week or the week after that, you know, we're going to put the same question to him so that we yeah, can start. But, I mean, the, the reason what you fail to understand is that legally, in the next f five weeks, UDP should have their congress. Okay, yeah, you're right. And that's yeah. when they go back again and have their elections. Yeah, yeah. you understand. When they yeah, select yeah. a new executive, yeah? yeah. So we don't know who, who's going to be in the executive and who's not going to be in the executive. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, um, when you talk about um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 what you call again the party going back to 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 to, to choose um, their 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 and, and that is involving all the parties except GDC, uh, um, and NRP, uh, NPP. And we have seen how how people were saying that NRP is very disorganized, even during these elections. And you know, apart from the only thing they probably pull out was a lot of money they brought in, and then. And then well, I mean, the problem is UDP has always talked about the structures, but yeah. this results tells us that we have to work more on our structures again, because um, it looks as if that Ker Jarga we were not strong there. Mm -hmm. And I will not want, as I keep telling you, that Ker Jarga is not a stronghold, but we can turn into a stronghold if we work hard there. Absolutely, absolutely. I am not, I am not scared because I remember when we used to, we never. Now you look at the councillors' election. One of the wards in Fonyi, we had thousand five hundred votes. Yeah, yeah. Now, going through my records, when Shingul Nyasi as brave as he was mm -hmm. he stood as a parliamentarian he had yeah. 236 votes absolutely, absolutely absolutely even though he was a strong formidable force he could yeah. not shake in um mm -hmm. now we have somebody is called his name is uh, Us usman something he stood for you 1500 votes yeah so from that point we're changing that's why i tell you that strongholds all depends on whether you whether you hold them properly yeah and, and with Jokadu, yeah and with jokadu we have seen that uh, instead of instead of increasing our votes because i saw pata 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 Sedekan posted something there you know instead of instead of increasing our votes it looks like we are in fact reducing them yeah you we're know, reducing them there, there could be a combination of factors for it yeah. now the fact that everybody wanted to go into the council people came out yeah yeah number two that was a determining factor yeah. who was going to win the council so people came out this one even if we vote for udp it will not change the 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 uh, the dynamics you understand it doesn't change so what will happen is that normally put people off if it was yeah. a real contest where you have an election where we know this is going to determine who's going to be the council and who's going to take control of the council yeah then you can say yes so now, what we, you feel well now what you fail to understand we, now is that the fact that npp have secured the seat yeah udp udp may have more seats in the council in that, that area of not back okay, okay okay because ddc had more had very a very good amount of seats yeah in that a uh, very amount of good amount of votes in that in the not bank area yeah. Now that they've lost one candidate to NPP, we have gained. Yeah, absolutely. because we, we've gained. But this is something which we have to analyze properly. Absolutely, absolutely. But then, um, and 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 then one, one of my concern also is that um, since we did a tactical kind of tactical alliance with um, with uh, with, NR, with, uh, uh, with GDC in Namina. Why did they? Why do you think they they went and contested against us in in in, in well, 
I mean, they could have, well, they could have given us that chance to, to, to well, say... Well, okay, put it this way. Put it this, put it this way. That seat in Jokadu yeah. was a GDC seat. Yeah. That that oh, Hold on. You can't... Kerjarga, Kerjarga was won by GDC. Yeah. The guy left GDC to join NPP before the law was changed. He That's why he resigned. Okay, okay, okay. So what happened is that was a GDC seat. Now, questions yeah. have to be asked. Why did we, why, why didn't we just let them carry on with it? That's what we should ask ourselves. Is the other way around saying that, like, we're not going to contest the seat. We're going to, this, this is GDC stronghold. GDC won the seat. GDC won a, these two seats. We're going to support them on it. But we put a candidate there. Okay, okay, okay. I see your point. I see your point. And um, it looks like the same guy who won again. The guy who yeah. left, um, what's he called again? Uh, 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 GDC to to NPP. Is the same guy who won? No, 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 no. It's a lady that won at Kerjarga. Our bar or something like okay, that. Okay, so the guy who left. The guy who left. He did not contest. NPP, he didn't, he didn't contest. He didn't contest. He didn't contest. He didn't contest. That's interesting. It's a female. It's a female that won the seat. Okay, so why will you why will you want to do that? Why will you want to um, uh, uh, give up your seat and then just go and and and, and not contest? Well, I mean, maybe she's maybe he's been offered something better. Okay, offered something okay. better. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that happen before. So you know, I've seen somebody that's that's done it before. So it doesn't. It, it's not something strange. You know that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Um, yeah, okay. Um, let's see, Mr. Uh, our, our viewers, Nyamina, Fode Jawla is saying Nyamina was not our concern. I mean, he meant that I think he, what he's trying to say is, you know, we shouldn't be concerned about Nyamina. Um, yeah, I understand we, we shouldn't be concerned, but we have so much lessons to learn from there. Well, I think I, 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 I wouldn't agree with Fode on that. I think we went there, we tried, and we were shown we were given a bloody nose, and we have to work from it <laughs> no are you yeah. saying it was a coalition then it wasn't a coalition no, it wasn't a coalition the problem is it's just telling us what what is at stake yeah this is the first election of which npp are involved yeah and now we know that mpp will do anything exactly exactly win elections yeah it's, it's a great learning learning, yes, learning a great uh, learning curve yeah yeah for us but my 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 initial thing is we shouldn't even have given it up for 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 GDC. Well, I mean yeah. the problem is you you need to look at your political strengths before you put a candidate up. And when I look at the votes that we had in nineteen nine in twenty seventeen, they were very low. No, we didn't contest that seat at all in twenty seventeen. You we sure? It, yeah, it was tactical alliance. We gave it to NRP to contest, and then and NRP. Lost. Yeah, NRP lost by a very small margin. I think about two hundred votes to uh, to GDC. You know, so so it looks like we're trying to avoid this area. You know, and and, and well, you don't. You know, well, 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 the problem is it's a learning curve because if you have your structures in your area and you 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 they're well financed and they're well run, they should they should decide whether. And secondly, when they spoke to the constituency committee at Nyamina. Those yeah. people say they wanted a candidate because if they say they wanted a candidate, then UDP can't stop them. You see, this is simple, this, this, this is simple politics because if they come and say that we, we have a candidate that we want to put up, UDP can't say that no, we're not going to sponsor a candidate. So it must have been that they no. never came up. You know, we, we, we give our words to 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 these people think that uh, we are not going to no know, i don't i don't I, you know, well because uh, well, that's, that's what people that's what people want to tell me but if the udp constituency committee had come up the executive had come up and said look we want a candidate here uh, it would be it would have been really unfortunate if udp said no we're going to give it to to what you call gdc to contest so unless unless somebody convinced me that the people never turned up you understand 
When they were drawn yeah. up and said that they don't want a candidate, they want to support GDC, they should have gone and support GDC. Now, yeah, absolutely, this, absolutely. I, think, I thought it was from Banjul, the executive, because I, I am not, I'm not in the in the. No, but the executive yeah. hasn't got. You see, you see, if you read, if you read the constitution of UDP, from from page to page, mm -hmm. the executive hasn't got any right to determine yeah. whether they should have an election at a constituency if the constituents at that area want to put up a candidate. Yeah. Yeah. Because what will happen is that they will just go independent, yeah, or even absolutely. go the other way. Absolutely, you have a good point there. I should engage yeah. the, 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 yes. the, the, the yes. yeah. I remember that when it <laughs> happened, and try and bring him on this show. <laughs> I remember so that when Casa, Casa Jaka, UDP had an election in said they were not going to take part in elections. Yeah, and they said they were not going to contest. So UDP didn't sponsor any candidates. Or people like Bambanding Dafe and Casa Jata, they contested. Yeah. They never agreed with the party, they contested independent. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you are yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so it looks like the GDC, uh, the party could, could impose some of those kind of things on, 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 on the constituency and said that. Uh, you know, you can't, you cannot do that because if you do that, you, 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 you just spoil democracy. Yeah, we yeah. shouldn't do that, you mean? Yeah, we shouldn't. Yeah, do that. so what, what happens is when the people come and say they want a candidate, and they've got a candidate. Mm -hmm. It is up to the executive to accept it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's why um, we have an advisor there at, in, in our Nyamina, Nyamina, Nyamina East, uh, I mean Kudang uh, Forum, and and for that, that, you know, those are the things I ex personally expressed to him to go and tell the executive that um, you know Uncle Luciano that uh, you know we want to put our we want to. We want to take Nyamina now, you know. As, as a party UDP, we are not going to give Nyamina to anybody. We are going to give it to GDC. We don't give it to no tactical alliance. We want to take it, and and this time we could have taken it, you know. If 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 the UDP had landed there, you know, we would have taken uh, Nyamina. Nyamina. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's um, it, it's a learning curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to learn from it. We have to work for it. We got to work harder. Mm -hmm. We have to stop this false belief that all is well exactly complacent and, uh, and and we should be where we should be yeah yeah mm. absolutely absolutely because the point is i mean uh, uh we have we know the demography of nyamina west we know that N nrp uh, uh, and, and and even maybe not look, NRP, but I, don't, and I don't like NRP giving NRP. NRP. look yeah. nrp contested councillor's election in 2013 or 2012 yeah. and they lost everything they lost all their seats yeah. <laughs> yeah they lost all their seats and i don't think nrp has got a lot of council seats at the moment no 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 except the ones we gave them we gave them yamina, yamina no Dr. but they, um, apart from mps i mean i mean i mean yeah. what they call councillors i don't think they have a lot of councillors yeah. yeah so yeah. nrp is not the issue the issue is Somebody was able to splash money and won the hearts and minds. So, yeah, it was NPP, NPP. I mean, Barrow, yeah, yeah. Barrow. Well, well. But my yeah. point was that uh, we have divided them. You know, the Barrow and Barrow took half of the the the, 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 the community, and then um, uh, GDC took the half. So the other half, the, the majority were were there for for UDP for for the taking. So I think I think maybe I I suspect that. Um, you know, maybe our, our, our supporters didn't see any GDC. They said, "Why are we going to vote for these people? Let us just go and sell our votes." That's that's my that's my take. Anyway, let's see what other people are saying. Um, okay, uh, the other advantage that Barrow Camp had over others in in Yamina, that's Mohammed Kamara. During the lockdown of the COVID, they were campaigning on the ground. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 well. I know. I've heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard about it. They were doing that, and that's what I was saying. That they were planted, you know. Yeah. They prepared themselves very well. Absolutely. So, so what about but, using commissioners? They were using commissioners to. Well, to I mean, those are other things. You see, we the all party, the inter party committee signed mm -hmm. an MOU. Yeah. yeah. Which looked at all these issues, mm -hmm. and uh, when an election is held. 
a good advice to remind them, look, because at the moment, the NPP hasn't taken part in that all inter-party committee. No, no. So now, that is something that any political party that has been founded, says that it uh, should be asked to subscribe to the to the tenets and principles of the all inter-party committee. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, the all inter-party committee doesn't meet regularly as it should be. Mm -hmm. And Halif Asala was the chairman of the party of this, you understand? Yeah. So that is a committee which should have been part of the legislation process election happened. Well, this is the MOU that proposal parties have signed. Would you, would you subscribe to it? And an MPP hasn't. So MPP are doing what they like, whereas UDP may be guided by the by the MOU. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, I, this, I, and I this is another issue again. You MPP, see? MPP doesn't respect. And what will happen is that we're going to wait till last, till last stages, and then we start talking. Oh, there was rigging, and what you, you, you they don't, they, 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 they never committed themselves to it. So yeah. it's to me that MOU that we signed, or we can call it a code of conduct, should be enshrined into legislation, so that when you form a political party, this is what you sign up to. Absolutely. Absolutely. All political parties sign up to it. Yeah. Is it but something they, that started? Yes. Yeah. But then these things are, are these people are government officials and, and, and civil Well, service. yes. But the problem is. And there are laws. We, there are we laws can complain. We can law. complain because the problem is um, you can be a member of a political party even though you're a government official. But you cannot be an active an executive. member of opinion. You cannot. No, hold on. You cannot be an executive member of a political party and you're in government. Okay, okay, okay. You know, that, that is where this problem happened with Baba Job when he was a, when he was a civil servant. Yeah. And he was still actively campaigning. That was wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I see your point. Um so what about what about um what about uh you know um, the fact that you they're using government resources? I mean, well, you cannot use government. Well, resources. government resources. That's that, well. That's that is something which, since nineteen, since the PPP era, was was the, was part of the game. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't endorse it. Now, these are things that you need to clarify to say that we are going to take part in the election. But what we want is certain things should not be allowed. Absolutely. You know, if you put them down that demand, say, we don't want this, we don't want to see any government people here, we don't want to see anybody campaigning here, we don't want to see this. Put the conditions. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think Barrow was part of the coalition. We were fighting the argument for this. Well, you, you, see, you see, the problem is now Barrow is, now now we don't have a, an umpire. No, no. Now we have someone that's also involved in this scrambling for votes. And somebody who so, doesn't care about his integrity and what he said in the so what happens now he will do what he ever he can do yep. yeah okay let's see what our it's uh mr mr jame is um hello mr Ture. it's me bolon cc how are you <laughs> bolon nul okay it's a pity because ignorance fatu jame is saying it's a pity because ignorance is our biggest enemy i'm saying this again if we sensitize the whole nation still some so, somehow will be some somehow will be left you know, he's, he's saying that he's saying that we cannot prevent people from selling their votes. Do you believe that? Do you think that you know we cannot? There's nothing we can do. I mean, the Ajame, the Ajame probably had more money than Baro, so why could he? Why couldn't he buy people everybody's vote? I don't think it's possible. You know, and then you don't. You know, it's not only money you need to do this. You need resources. You know, you need Shidinjai, for instance, to go and talk to everybody he wants to buy. He cannot do that in, in 2021 election. Well, I mean, in 2021, I only say that we cannot be complacent with them. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to say anything else about it because whatever I say, I might, I might reveal what they what they do and they change it. But we cannot... Yeah, but what we are going to do about it. Thank you. No, thank we, you. We, we, we cannot be complacent. That's that's out of the way. We cannot be complacent with them. We have to foot, foot to foot, man to man. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, Fatija, man, we're going to put efforts together. We're going to behind closed doors. We're going to pre prepare, you know, and, and put 
you know journalists in place so that anytime anybody does this we will find you out and put you on record and then and then and then send it to the social media we're going to find we're going to find ways to 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 stop this so don't worry about that my sister okay um brahma mane is saying joker do someone is appointed could have been the former councillor um i'm not really honest i don't really understand what he's trying to say what he's saying is the the the, the councillor that the, the council of kirjarga has been appointed councillor has been appointed a district chief okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, i don't think so i don't I'll, I'll, I'll put, yeah yeah maybe maybe yeah appointed chief yeah that's what he said later okay okay yeah or maybe but i'm sure he's been appointed something that's why he couldn't he, could, he wouldn't contest uh you know as, as the thing um so um uh, for the Germans, that's why the udp should make hay while the sun shines let them stick in stick stick in time and and, and save nine in time before it's too late yeah yeah thank you very much yeah but we're not going to we're not going to 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 uh to, to divulge um what you know what measures we're going to take we're going to take many measures you know and and i think i we, we encourage every person every civilian i mean every person every party everybody who's concerned you know the newspapers will be you know we encourage you guys to go and, and investigate these things and put investigative journalism in place so that if anybody tries it again not only 2021 any other election anybody tries it again we expose you we put you out you know we we record you on a video and send it out you know from Yamina, they're not going to do this here again because they have spoiled our name and and you know our Yamina name we have spoiled it they've called us carrera okay you know sujer sujer something so but um yeah so 2021 is going to be a big problem different <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be and uh we have eight minutes um to nine o'clock now uh, mr goswell we have exhausted our our time and uh, as usual you are uh, you've been uh, a great we are a great encyclopedia here we've learned a lot from you from the history what happened and and, and how we can move forward and i think um as I, as I was saying before you came in you know we're trying to put this thing on on, on we're getting better uh, we are using different software now and uh, we're going to put it on youtube as well and then share it with our our, our our leaders as we are talking here now it is it is being um, broadcasted both on facebook as well as youtube and we are trying to put together a, a newspaper so that we can we can we can put the link there uh, for youtube so that um you know and even facebook so that our viewers can view it anytime anywhere they are and you know we will try and download the audio as well and the video so that we can send it off to 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 whatsapp because i think this is the way forward we have to be we have to be as we have to encourage diversity in our shows and everywhere and make sure that um you know when it comes to 2021 there's no go area for udp we're going to be going to go everywhere and make sure that we are visible everywhere we're going to have excuses as mr goswell said there's no going to be any we're not going to say this is going this is not our stronghold even though we you know politically we understand that no no political party can have stronghold everywhere mr goswell you know i think you have to appreciate that even in uk here you have some areas like the north where labor is, is this is the labor stronghold conservative they can well, make i mean labor. you can you can say that but what happened is labor lost Bur um, bursova which was which, which it was never it was a no-go area so yeah. you know i mean yeah, no, i mean yeah you can make headways you know, headways we can make headways in certain yes, areas i mean we can make there, but, but generally Generally, we have some areas that we are saying that these are stronghold, our strongholds, and you have to encourage on that. And these those, those and we have some areas which are battle battle grounds, you know. And those areas we have to make sure we look. I'm not saying that you know we should make this an excuse, and, and but we you know we have to recognize this thing that this is this reality and make effort to make sure that we bring them on board, you know. So um, yeah, on 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 that note, um, I will give you the last word to 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 thank our viewers and 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 hopefully. Um, you know, we'll have more people here next week when we engage um, uh, our our able sister because I think she did a brilliant interview last week and uh, and, and and she's going to be brilliant here as well. Uh, thank you very much, our viewers. Thank you, Mr. Goswell. The last word is yours. Uh, well, last words. I'm honored to be given the last words. Um, well, anyway, I mean, this week the solution that we lost, but as I said. Losing elections are not always bad time if we reflect and learn from it. 
So it's a time for us to reflect and learn from it and start working harder and take this struggle serious and not to take it as a personal crusade and all that stuff. You are there, you bring, you join the party, come and build the party, take part and bring in something into the party. Don't come to the party to take something out of the party. I mean, some of us have been in the party for long and we, all we've done, we've brought in our ideas, our strategies and our, our interests. That's what we expect others to be doing. And what we, the way forward is for us to learn from the unfortunate results. Yeah. I mean, at Inyamina West and Kejarga and work on it so that it's never repeated. To our supporters, we always want to end it just to stay calm. Don't allow, don't allow anyone or any group or any group or uh, party to demotivate you or to incite you to involve in something which is not within the ethos of the UDP. They quit to say that UDP is a party of insults, but they never used to say who starts the insults first. Mm -hmm. We've lost this election, so what we have to do is sit down, work hard for the better. On that note, I say to all my, all our viewers, good night and have a brilliant week. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thanks. <coughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. See you next week. <laughs>